The sights and sounds of Derby 148 are constant, but clearly there's something missing, and most feel it, and that something is Bob Baffert. Totally. Bob Baffert was the face of the Derby for the last decade. It's pretty strange, uh, you know, I mean, he's always uh, well represented, and uh, when he shows up, you know, he's, he's going to be tough to beat. A year ago, this was the scene outside of the Baffert barn at Churchill Downs. The show was in town. Here's what that same barn looks like today. Completely empty, an area that used to contain so much life, now looks like a ghost town. A wall that displayed so many accomplishments, now completely bare. Baffert is serving a two-year suspension at Churchill Downs after Medina Spirit tested positive for betamethasone after he won last year's Kentucky Derby. Medina Spirit, who died in December after training, was eventually stripped of his victory earlier this year. The whole situation should have taken three days, not eight months. It dragged out the legal uh, part of it, the, you know, the appeals, everything. Uh, it just got worse and worse and worse. Hall of Fame trainer D. Wayne Lucas was a one-time Baffert rival, now a friend and supporter. That should have been a fine, nothing else. And um, it's hard to explain that to the, even the layperson that, it, that the horse was not enhanced. He was not doped. He had a medication that is legal. It just had a, a threshold level that was too high. Do you think it's hurt the sport? I think it did. For others that remain, it's business as usual. I, I don't pay too much attention to all that. Uh, I've always been a guy that just focuses on my horses and my team. And, you know, that's, this, I mean, that's just not my area really to, to weigh in on any of that. But you can't ignore the fact the Derby is different without Baffert. To not have him in this is, is a, a great loss, trust me. 